Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to try our hands into a wardrobe lighting project or a cabinet lighting project. We'll be doing a smart mirror that can turn on and off its lights by simple hand gestures. We'll be doing individual cabinet lighting for our wardrobe. And for these, to do this project, we need to learn a few things. One of those are very important for the DIY world, that is soldering. Second, we will learn about how to convert 220 volt AC to a 12 volt or a 5 volt DC that will drive your LED lights. And third, we will learn about how to control these LED lights or turn on and off these LED lights by your hand gesture. So in order to make those look smart. So without wasting any further time, let's dive into the project. So this is basically a simple uh, uh, bridge rectifier or in common terms, this is known as uh, LED drivers. So this basically does simple thing that is takes 220 volt input and produces 5 volts output and uh, it functions really simply uh, there is a transformer inside so that converts 220 volt into a 12 volt ac 220 volt ac to a 12 volt ac and then this 12 volt ac uh, through a bridge rectifier converts to 12 volt dc now this 12 volt dc goes through a filter that uh, removes out ripples from this uh, uh, converted dc voltage and uh, makes it smooth DC current so with this this rectifier is basically a capacitor so DC capacitor so that basically uh, creates a smooth 12 volt DC and then it goes to a uh, IC 7805 so that converts this 12 volt DC to a 5 volt DC and then you get this 5 volt DC into these two terminals so this red one is the positive one and the black one is the negative one you can make this in your home pretty easily uh, for the bridge rectifier you need four diodes uh, you need a 12 volt capacitor for the uh, for the filter and uh, you need a 7805 IC for the uh, 12 volt DC to 5 volt DC. Now you want to put this 5 volt DC output to your LED strip say this one. So let's say you don't want to use this entire 5 meter roll you want to use a part of it say you you want to use a little bit say say this this section you want to use this much so what to do then so in order to use a small part of this uh, led strip uh, you need to cut it and you cannot cut it anywhere because if you have done so you know that uh, if you cut it in between middle so what would happen some parts or some of the led lights won't light up so what you have to do you have to look carefully and find the terminals in the LED strips. So these 12 volt LEDs, these are having six LEDs per terminal ends. So you can think of th this this section I'm talking about. These are like looking signing metal parts. So these are the two terminals. And if you cut in here in between, just a clean cut, this will be fine. The remaining part will be fine. And this part, if you light it up separately, that will light up easily. So that's with it and why is that so so to understand that let us just uh, open a small part in here i have that pre-cut so let's just see how this works so if we just open it if you can see here you, you can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, printed circuits printed uh, lines going on here and there so these are basically the two terminals, the two positive and negative terminals that is going to each LEDs. So if you cut somewhere in between, so what would happen? Uh, either of the positive or the negative terminals won't go to the LED and those LEDs won't lit up. To avoid that, what you have to do, you have to cut on the terminal ends. So like these two parts, these are clean cut terminals. In order to light it up, you're not going to hold it in this place. So what you have to do, you have your driver, you have your pre-cut LED strip. You need to solder these together. And in order to solder this, you need a soldering iron. So I'm talking about these things. 
so you can see these are this is a 30 watt uh, foldering iron and uh, this is these are comes pretty cheap so this is a 30 watt soldering iron with a flat uh, tip this costs me about uh, 90 to 100 rupees and uh, this is another flux so what it does uh, if you touch it in here you can see uh, smokes coming out so what it does it distributes heats evenly onto the tip of this uh, soldering iron so the soldering iron tip this is heated about uh, 350 to 400 degrees celsius uh, and uh, that helps to melt the uh, tin uh, onto the surface that will connect between the metal metal joints so if i just touch the tin onto this tip you can see it is melting here it's melting and forming this silver bead onto the surface it's boiling onto the surface so now with since we have the soldering iron we have uh, molten tin onto its surface now we have to solder these two the best tip that i can give you for soldering is before doing the soldering just clean up the surfaces of the terminals that you are going to join so this is this uh, wire end that you have to join so clean it up and then just dip it onto this molten tin little bit here and there if it's not picking on to the surface don't worry what we can do keep it on this like it and then touch it with your tin touch it with the tin so that would help getting tin coated evenly onto this surface so that's it clean covered up with tin and now it is golden golden for shortering let's now coat this surface as well so just like in the previous case touch it onto the tip touch this tip with the tin so the tin can propagate onto this uh, wire terminal evenly and once you are happy with it just remove it if you want to do a second coat you can go ahead uh, try to avoid it touching onto the rubber or insulation coating and uh, you are fine okay so now we have both of our wire terminals coated with uh, shorter and now we have to do the same thing onto our pre-cut LED strip so that that also connects cleanly. So for that just gently touch it onto your tip of soldering iron for each terminal just touch it little bit just like that yeah that is fine for the other end as well just touch it. A little bit here and that is fine now just look for a positive in here on the strip you can see there is a positive and a negative marking on this uh, strip I don't know if it's focusing or not so if you can see here one of this terminal is marked as positive another one is marked as negative so accordingly the red wire as I said earlier this is positive so that goes with the positive terminal the black wire this one this is negative and this goes with the negative terminal so let's just do that first before doing the soldering just hold it properly onto the surface so that it doesn't move during soldering and place the wires onto the terminals do it one at a time I think that would be easier take a little bit of solder onto this soldering iron little bit of tin coating and then 
you just connect it okay so take the negative terminal you have taken some solder onto the surface just take some more amount onto the surface yeah like that and just connect this to hold it for a few seconds so that the solder solidifies now it's good do the same for the other terminal so this is the positive terminal so for that also you have to do it so we take the positive terminal and just gently touch it gently hold it for a few second it will be solidified and then you are done so now you can see the soldering is done the bond is solid and you have made a good solder onto this surface this is a good conductive bond between the wire terminal and the strip terminals let's just look at a final finished project that i have done just with the principle that i have shown how to cut how to solder and uh, how to connect it with a led driver so here you can see in this uh, cabinet mirror i have connected led strips along the border of the mirror so with that i have cut it accordingly and shortened it and uh, if i if i try to turn it on and turn it off i just swipe my hands here it turns on the led lights and if i swipe back it turns off the led lights it's basically working with a ir sensor here it's a short range ir sensor so that's how it is working so this is the ir sensor that i was talking about earlier so this one you can use for uh, your uh, home smart mirror or uh, led mirror projects so, and uh, many other projects that uh, you can uh, you, you want to turn on or turn off with your hand gestures so here you can see this uh, two uh, black color uh, protrusions here these are basically the uh, one is the LA, uh, one is the ir thrower and other one is the ir receiver uh, so and uh, these two end these are this one basically this is the vi minus and vi plus so by that what it means that these are the input side this is coming from the led driver here uh, so that is a 12 volt led driver that is sending voltage positive goes in here negative goes in here and on the output side you are getting three terminals you take the end two ones you take this one and this end one so you can see here vo plus so you take the output positive here and you can take either of these two but i prefer the end one here so that one you connect with your led so the uh, these two ones from the output side you connect with your led strip positive and negative terminals and once that is done uh, then with your hand gesture you can turn on or turn off the led lights when i swipe my hand over it uh, what it does it sends sends infrared lights onto my palm and uh, it, that uh, due to my palm's temperature the infrared wavelength changes and that it detects accordingly it changes it turns on or turns off the led lights and also if you if you just see in here uh, the, with the same principle i have done uh, my entire cabinet in this way you can see the lightings in the cabinet so each cabinet in here these are lit up by this uh, led lights uh, in each cabinet uh, i have cut properly led strips and then connected those in each cabinet connected those through wirings here and uh, does each cabinet having their individual light uh, so this type of project you can make in your home and uh, make this type of uh, uh, lighting in your cabinets that uh, will give it a much better look as well as uh, better visibility inside your cabinets so there you have it uh, definitely do try it at, on your at your homes and uh, please pre take good precautions uh, while doing electrical jobs uh, or take advice from your local electricians before taking up all on, on these projects best of luck and if you have learned something from these projects please give it a thumbs up hit the like button press the subscribe button and ring the bell icon bye for now
I'll see you in the next video.